This week's schedule is no school on Monday, B, C, D, and E. Next week, we do not have school on Monday. Woo! About that, if you're wondering why we are not coming to school next Monday, or why we are just like this, then you should probably go back to Mexican history. Bad Mexicans. Feliz mes patrio! El 16 de septiembre celebra la independencia de México. Please remember to be safe in all your celebrations. Para celebrar, tenemos un segmento llamado Trivia Mexicana. Independencia de México. 1918. 1918. 1950. Celebra el grito de la noche del 15 y no la del 16. La verdad no sé. La verdad no sé. ¿Qué año y qué día fue la independencia de México? ¿O se celebra? 16 de septiembre. De 1917. Ok. ¿Quién es conocido como el padre de la patria? Miguel Hidalgo. Bien. ¿En qué año y en qué día celebra la independencia de México? El 16 de septiembre de 1976. Uh -huh. 6. Uh -huh. ¿Quién era el capitán que Zapata. Zapata. Hablo. ¿Qué se celebra la noche del 15 de septiembre? La independencia. El inicio del invierno. Wasn't that fun? Now, we missed her on Monday, but she won't give up. Let's go to Millstone's Corner. Hi, SFG. NHS, today we have a meeting during second break in the conference room of the high school. Please come, don't be late. Also, all students that are interested in learning more about ITAM, one of the most fabulous, well-recognized schools in Mexico, they will be here Friday. While you're getting some sort of surprise for Mexican independence, you can take your surprise and go meet the people from ITAM. They're gonna be here in the upper school fountain area. We hope to see you there. Have a fabulous day and Viva Mexico! Thank you, Ms. Millstone. The Honor State Math Class is publishing a magazine. Let's cut to the clip. Cool! I like how they use every color at the same time. Fun! The Eco Race is September 29th, and Mr. Singh has some information to share about this with us. Please consider attending. It's a great event for the ASFG community. Calling all high school runners, fast or slow, the Echo Race training starts tomorrow at second break. We'll head off campus and go for a 20 minute run to be back in class for third period. Pick up the permission slip in the high school office and bring your running gear for a run around the neighborhood. If this old man can run 26.2 miles, you high schoolers can run at least three miles at the Echo Race. If you think that Mr. Sink wanted to be only in one segment, you are wrong. Here comes the diva again with more news. Latas, latas, muchas latas. Yes, I'm here to talk to you guys about the aluminum can recycling program we have starting in high school this year. If you are interested, I need seven students who will be committed to sifting through these cans and making sure we take them out and put them in bags so they can be picked up and taken to a specific recycling center where they will earn money for the Bosque de la Primavera. That money will help protect our lung of the city, or pulmón de Guadalajara, La Primavera. So please stop by the high school office to sign up and get more information. First come, first serve. If you sign up on the list in front of Amelia, I will schedule a meeting with you to give you all the details and know that it comes with a weekly commitment and also attending some outside event events throughout the school year. 
I look forward to working with you in saving the pulmones of Guadalajara. Now for some serious recounting of the past, let's talk about 9-11. 18 years ago, the terrorist group Al-Qaeda led four terrorist attacks that, uh, that affected both Twin Towers and the Pentagon in New York City. Now, to tell us about how our community was affected by this tragedy, Ms. Valand will tell us a story. Apparently, a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center in New York. Now remember, oh my God. Uh, today, we've had a national tragedy. And the Pentagon is being evacuated. Low-flying aircraft near the White House, and one can only wonder if that was something that ultimately... Let's I remember on September 11th being in AP Biology, I believe it was second period, and um, over and people came around to our classrooms to tell us some big news event was happening. So we all got online and we saw the chaos that was happening in the world. And there were a lot of false, fake news reports that even at that time about the border closing and what seemed to be an apocalypse happening. And um, so once we realized what was happening, students were allowed to contact their parents, they were allowed to be picked up. Probably 75% of the students went home and the rest of us sat around in classrooms watching the TV. And I remember Miss Heinze, who had, uh, I believe her office was in the corner over across from the copy center at that time. She had a TV set up outside of her office and kids could come and gather in her office also and watch TV. And then I think the next week we had a remembrance ceremony out by the Romucho tree for the entire school that was with you know, all 1,500 students seated out there and Ms. Heinze led us through a remembrance towards the event. We can only learn from our past. Well, that's all for today, high school. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.